Hey everybody, my name is Kadema. Welcome back for another video of Old World. We're going to continue our start, an actual let's play, I should say. I uh, put up a poll earlier on a couple of days ago about uh, you guys, if you wanted me to play this game or not, right? An official let's play on it. And you guys, and you all voted basically yes. So you all wanted to play me to play this game, continue to play it. So I'm going to go more in depth in it. We've got an actual let's play going on uh, with this one now. The mods, I don't have any mods for it uh, right now because there's some votes, but there's really not a lot of votes. So it might take a while before this game even has mods. So I'm not going to wait for it. I want to play this game, boys. We're just going to jump right into it. Uh, go to new game, obviously. And we're going to choose, now we chose Macedon last time, but I want to make it a little bit different. I don't want to make it the same thing since we saw what Macedon was all about. Yes, I kind of in intrigue with uh, Alexander and everything, but I uh, kind of want to go with something different. I tested out on my own the uh, Roman, uh, or Rome basically. They're all right, but I feel like we could choose something else as well. So on start, it gives us stat. That's interesting. Let me see what it... So all cities, yo, Carthage actually has a lot of science. Uh, one thing that's really important for me is science and money. Uh, and that's just because of the technologies and stuff like that. So I think I'm just going to go for maybe Carthage. Carthage, Babylonia as well. Assyria is not really interesting, but Babylonia or Carthage. Uh, Babylonia does have plus two per year in science. 20% growth as well for the city's treasury. Oh, it has culture as well. Let's go for Bab uh, Babylonia, boys. It has the culture as well, which culture is probably the most important thing outside of science for me. Uh, it's what makes the... Basically, it's uh, what uh, upgrades the uh, things faster, right? In the city center and stuff like that. So we're going to start off with trapping, treasury which is what basically gives us uh, more culture and forum. So we're going to start with a lot of good stuff, boys. Sumerian, all this good stuff. It's going to be really awesome soon. Uh, let me read that really quick. Son of a Mesopotamian king and husband to Amethyst of Media and forever a worshipper of the god Marduk. In the name of my father, I elevated my city, Babylon, to be the jewel of the region. region. I am trained in military tactics, conquered the kingdoms, and crushed rebellions. I built the hanging gardens for my wife, so she can feel closer to the hills of Persia. And the Ishtar ga a gate to honor Marduk, I connect them both with the, pro uh, with the processing way, and all visitors were bewildered by the beauty of my empire. Under my rule, women had equal rights as men did. We created intellectual institutes and temples, and my focus was on art, culture, science, mathematics, and craftsmanships. In a decade, I turned Babylon into a city of light. I am Nebushad Nerzar. All right, boys. So he's a man of science, big time. Let's go with him. The able, uh, the easiest one, obviously. Huge map. Uh, script random six opponents Babylonia obviously passive absolute kinetic uh, actually yeah definitely so equality for all as it said mortality realistic because I want it to be uh, a little bit more tough on me development fledging existing nation start with the least of cities yeah I want to start with only one city for uh, for the start a uh, huge map size uh, huge map. Okay, we're good. The rest is all good. Let's start it up, boys. Here we go. We're about to start our game. We start right away with six uh, science, which is already pretty good. Now, our food is tough, but that's because we don't have our city just yet. We started right beside this. We're starting really strong already, right beside the pop-up uh, as well. Now, I don't know which family we are. I do want to take a look which family we are exactly. Uh, I don't have any hair, so I'm basically alone. I'm one king. I don't have any wife, uh, nothing as, uh, at all. I'm basically alone. Uh, let me see which one would be greater, I guess. So this would give us more science and culture. 
uh, culture is good as well, or civics, I should say. Civics is really imp important as well. Everything's important, but uh, this is the least important one. Uh, these are like materials and stuff. But uh, these two, science, civics, and uh, what I told you earlier, the culture thing, is the three things I really want to focus on uh, big time on this Let's Play. So that's pretty good. That's the garbage. That would be good as well. Plus two culture per year. Found the capital. Uh, so is either this one or this one, boys. I feel like I'm fine. I'm going to do this one because it gives us more culture. It's just to be, be able to build more stuff right quicker. Uh, orders. Yes, I know everything. I still have the tutorials on. But I'm going to skip most of those because I know what I'm doing. So remove the trees. Now, first thing we're going to do, right? It gives us uh, two um, workers right away. Is you want to work if you have the chance of working on actual, like uh, statues and stuff. You got to do it. Now we do have to build the Aeon Gardens because it's part of them, obviously. Uh, Aeon Gardens. I'm actually going to build them. Uh, well, we could build them right here, right? Yeah, it's a flat land. There's nothing, so. Let's just build the Aeon Gardens right here. Yes, there we go. We're going to work on that. It's going to take nine turns, but that's okay. We are going to work on a mine. It's going to give us more culture. So mines give us more culture, which is really important. You got to keep that in mind. Uh, what about this? This is the scout. So the scout. Oh, we don't have anything. We can't do anything. Uh, let me just buy it with uh, some training, I guess. I do need to buy a movement at least. Oh shit, the slinger. Yeah, the slinger I don't I don't really care too much, but uh, I am gonna move this guy up. Let me see real quick. Yeah, move this guy up to this place. All right, first pop up. Broken vessels and strange markings indicate that these runes were once occupied by a tribe from uh, beyond the sea. So the discovery empire inspires to you to expand beyond your realm to new worlds. Okay. Commission scouts to send them to directions. Study this unknown tribe that would give us more, uh, more stuff. I actually want that right now. Yeah, let's get that. That's gonna help us. We don't have any more moves, but first research we're gonna do is gonna take one year for all of them. That's gonna give uh, that that thing would give us uh, shrines or urban buildings, which give us more culture. Yeah, I, I want that one. Div divination, boys, for sure. I want this one first. Uh, next stop, all this is done. It's been uh, done. We don't have anything going on for us. But that's okay. Right now, we're alone. We're going to pass the first year alone. That's just fine. I already think that our next city might be here. But I want to stick to the shore if we can. You know, that would be better. So let's end the first year. Starting off pretty strong. First research is done. Now we can focus on the next one, which is going to be a, a bit more tougher. Which one would give us? So what does it give us? The more courage, more charisma, uh, which uh, courage and charisma, by the way, I think uh, courage gives us training. Charisma, I think, gives us uh, civics, which uh, we need. So charisma is really important in this game as well. A bunch of stuff is important. Uh, what about this? I guess sovereignty. Yeah, we can go for sovereignty. Apex and explorations. What is this? The court has opened debate on the topic of cultural in enrichment. And we are two minds on the matter. We can invest to in national epics, uh, which give us plus 10 culture per unit killed. Interesting. We can rely on exploration. So mo uh, bonuses for scouts to bring us new experiences. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let us share our stories. The world will tell the court. I'm going to choose this one. Uh, well, that was... No, I'm going to... The court will choose the law. I don't know which one I want to do. Here, It's going to cost me anyways. It's going to cost me 400 right away to make the, the, the thing. I'm going to choose this one. This one is better. Yeah, um, just pass the law for Apex. We're going to have Apex. I feel like having more culture is a lot better for the city wise. Uh, we are working on a settler right now. As you, it's working. See, already the culture is going up a little bit by two. Plus two is really good already. 
uh, we need to work on it. Uh, obviously, inquiry. Okay, inquiry, and uh, this must be a bonus that we got already. Uh, I want to work on these things. Yeah, I want to work on these things, not these settlers. And uh, these are the things we can use eventually to even go further, but we need to go up in terms of culture for that. Festival. So in festivals and inquiry, I guess it's going to give us uh, both culture. We need to focus on these things big time. I think we're good for the rest. I'll skip the turn now. Oh, next unit. We are in the next turn already. All right. So these two are already working on their stuff. Don't have really much to do. I don't want to... I'm going to want to waste my time with these guys. I don't uh, have any units. I'm going to spend the, the turns I have for my scout, really. So I'm going to spend my turns for the, his, uh, for the scout. There we go. Uh, next stop. I, I just want to see really quick... If we can't do anything about my uh, my guy right now. Family marriage, please. Yeah, we need to marry ourselves. What age are we? We're 31. We're fine right now in terms of age. But I still think, you know, we need to marry ourselves so we can have children. Because right now we're alone. We don't have any air. don't have anything. We're been basically alone. So that's not, not a good thing at all. Uh, what about this right here? I think we're good. We're still working on it. Uh, okay, so the scout, the scout, we're just going to continue to go here. Tutorial, yes, I am going to harvest it. There we go, harvest the ores. It's going to give us some stuff. Actually, there's some gold, harvest the gold. There we go, give us some gold uh, right here. And he's got one more movement. I'm going to send him right here. There we go. Okay, so now we can actually move him. We have enough, so we're going to promote him. Let's see, promote the, the slinger right here. A range unit, vision, critical chance, strength. Either visions or critical chance. I see uh, critical chance, boys. There we go. Our slinger has unit hard of work battle and they are ready to take orders. We need to take the role of general and lead them. Yes, I belong in the field of battle. I'm going to be their general, boys. Let's end the second year. I'm going to the third one. Uh, we're in the third year. A new marriage proposal for Calderon has arrived for uh, our new king. Okay, good. Uh, what is our answer? So, which one do we choose, boys? This one looks like uh, a little bit better. Because this one has minus two right here of courage. That's minus two training. Uh, plus five of science, though. She's got wisdom. One, uh, But the other one is a bit better because she's got gold and she's got courage. I'm going to go for this one. There we go. This one's better. Let's look, uh, take a look at our wife, boys. A brand new wife. Queen Consort Belesunu is our wife. She is 20 years old. 12 years old. 12 years old. old uh, than, uh, 12 years younger than us. But it's fine. Tutorial marriage. Yes, I know all about that. Okay, we're good here. Yeah, we're in the next turn. So before I do anything... Next unit, yeah, I want to get this guy first. So, just going to continue to explore on this side right here first. There we go. Continuously explore until you're done uh, for your turns. You're done. All right, good. Uh, we're still working on two turns. It's going to be done. Babylon is going to take four more turns for this. I'm looking to make Babylon a really big time cultural um, unit, right? Really upgraded big time. So we got uh, one more turn, one more chance to upgrade it. Uh, we got ill action, melee, damage units, critical chance. Actually, damage uh, units, blood uh, thirsty. There we go. And that's about it. We don't have anything else going on really. Uh, 35. Every turn, that's the plus 20. That means it's every turn, every year. It's uh more. It's 20 more science, and you see, it 20. We're at 35 out of 120 right now. That's basically how you upgrade your things. Uh, so every time I'm gonna go for science to upgrade as much as possible quickly. Those things right here. Uh, food. We're struggling a bit on, on food, but uh, we'll be good eventually. We'll be good. Next turn, boys. Sovereignty. We're in the four year four. It's going fast, man. Years are going fast. We're already 33 years of uh, old. Uh, I don't have any science, but it's plus 10. I mean, it's alright at plus 10, but we need to upgrade those things. 
Let me just go ahead and continue on my search right here. Oh, there's a pop-up re event right here. Let's take a look. Our explorers discovered a group of orphaned, homeless, and hungry children hiding in the ruins. If we leave them, they will surely starve to death, but our cities are on the verge of overcrowding. There is room in our caravan for either ex a salvage stone or passengers. What would you, uh, you have to uh, do? The Babylon cannot become a charity. That gives us more stone, but I don't necessarily need stone right now. Uh, that would give, but uh, that would make us less growth though. I need growth. Charisma. So more charisma for us would be great. Uh, plus four civics as well. We shall uh, shelter them. Or we can always use citizens in Babylon that uh, gain child labor. I'm actually just, go I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do, so I'm, we're going to shelter them because that's more charisma. That's more, that's a little bit better for everyone really. I'm going to actually harvest these horses. There we go. More more money, boys. We actually have a lot of money right now, which is really good. We can use that money eventually once we have enough science or enough culture, I should say, on the city. We can use that money to upgrade uh, like this, like with the money, upgrade these uh, faster, these three searches. Now, one thing I did forget about telling you guys is this right here, the happiness. You want to stick it, you want it to be as lowest as possible. Um, right now they're really discontent. 97 means they're really discontent. They're not happy. So you got to try to make them a little bit more happy. I'm, I'm working on the inquiry right now. Once I'm done with the inquiry, I'm going to do a festival. That's going to give us minus 20, which is a good thing. You want to be in the minuses and not in the pluses uh, for the happiness. And plus growth uh, festival, you gotta work on that every for a few in a while, just to make uh, people happy and they upgrade their culture as well. All right, it's uh, it's all good. Actually, my city is growing fast. Look at that. Look how fast it's growing. Plus fourteen. My city is upgrading fast as hell. It still has only one citizen, but soon enough it will have two citizens. That's crazy. My general, I'm just going to make it sleep for now. I don't have anything for him to do. So I think we're good right now. We don't have anything. Just got to keep uh, going into another year already. Three more years for the sovereignty uh, thing to be done. What I'm going to do is uh, I've got my worker. He's done with the mining. We've got a, a shrine thing, but uh, we don't have enough stone. Now I can not purchase stones though, which I'm going to do. I'm actually going to buy some stones here. Uh, I don't know. I need 40, I believe. Yeah, I need it. I think I needed 40. Yeah, I f yeah, I'm going to be good now. Good, good, good. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do this shrine right here. Plus two culture. I'm going to look for the one that gives us the m better, uh, best thing. That would be good. That's more science. Plus, that would put us a plus two science. Uh, 22 but i need more civics per turn so i think this one yeah definitely this one there we go so we every time we can work on the shrine if we can we work on it boys that upgrades our uh our culture and i need the culture to go up so we can get these things built faster right way faster so let's work on that our scout let's just continue to move archie's gonna go on this direction now there we go just moving him up there's another event. There's a couple events on the area right here. A lot of things happening. Uh, still no child from her. It's going to happen eventually. No problem. Yeah, I think uh, that's pretty good right now. We're doing okay. Gaining uh, from our queen. We're gaining some courage. So that's good. What do we have? Uh, we have charisma and science. So all the science, the plus science we already had from the start is because of our king. So that's really good. Civics. He's got a lot of charisma. That's really good as well. All right. Uh, end the year. We don't have anything going on as always. Could always move this guy though. Oh yeah. Our general could. We could move our general. He could explore as well on his own. All right. He's uh, tired already. So wait for the next turn right here. Here, here we go. We're in the next turn. Let's see. You are uh, known as the explorer. All right. Burly Smith, what is this? A Burly Smith maintains an ancient forge in the ruins. She explains that she trades iron weapons to nomads in exchange for food. 
as long as you don't touch her stockpile of ore, she is willing to share expertise with you. What do you say? Uh, loot her metal stores. Why would I do that? Yeah, uh, my people would be really unhappy about that. Uh, acquire iron working. I'm going to acquire this. It's a free technology. Just get the free technology. There we go. We got iron working, boys. We're probably going to need a warrior eventually if we want to make a war. Right now, we don't have anybody to make war with. So that's why I'm not focusing too much on that. Focusing on building a city instead right here. Uh, tutorial legitimacy. What happened? Do I have... Um, no, I guess not. I don't have anything going on. So I don't know why it's uh, popping up like that. I don't have any children or anything. Let's continue their turns. One more turn for this guy. All right, there we go. Plus eight. I don't know what that plus eight means. Maybe gold or food. I'm not sure. We're, we're going down slowly on food, but we're fine. We have plenty of stockpile in food, so we should be just fine. What about this? So it's still plus three. Yeah, it's going to take so a while. It's going to take four more turns. I mean, uh, the Indian Garden is going to give us plus four culture, science, and plus two growth. Hanging Gardens does a lot. These uh, the wonders obviously do uh, for your country, so that's definitely gonna help us out. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna go on the south with these guys. Haven't encountered a single uh, other faction yet. There's a pop up right there. So stone cutting, we could go. Husbandry, which I'm tempted to go for because we can get all these things from the pasture growth, right? Uh, this more quiet quarries would give us uh, that we'll be able to get some of uh, that for per year archives but uh, barracks I'm not sure I think I'm gonna go for us bendery well stone cutting is gonna only take one turn so let's just go for stone cutting I guess first because it's only one turn we're good here let's continue to explore boys the uh, these areas there we go we're exploring all these areas still all this land is free to good, uh, free to go for us, I guess. There's literally no nothing going on. What about this, intrepid? Okay, seashore fine. While exploring a remote stretch of seashore, we discover a curious shell scattered among the shallows. This shell, when uh, when ground in, uh, ground into powder, produces a pleasant purple dye that is perfect for fabrics. So we got like um, a luxury, boys. Significant scientific discovery. Our vivid fabrics will impress the world. Other nations will pay for our resources. We can sell it, but I don't need money. Again, triumph. What does that mean, triumph? It's either I gain some... I don't know. I don't know if I want uh, science right now. I'm actually going to gain triumph. I don't know what that means. Gain triumph, I guess. I don't know what that gives us, boys, but uh, I'm kind of intrigued by that. Uh oh look at that we got some barbarians right here well 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 we've got some barbarians there we go we're attacking them boys with my general we're attacking them with my uh, my my only military i have let's go choose production all right so we're finished in production i guess that's good so we got the inquiry okay so inquiry is just like festival i guess on completion oh that's what it does so okay so you can either go i don't have enough uh, stones to build any of these buildings these buildings are permanent they stay there and they give you uh, stuff per turn but these two things are like the same thing so i didn't have inquiry before i didn't know that so inquiry is just like festival instead it gives you eight eighty percent uh or eighty eighty uh, science plus so that's what it did for us. All right, I, now I get it. Gave us uh, gave us a lot more science. I prefer doing the festival though. It's a lot better. Let's uh, go for this festival right now because I really need my population to start being a little bit more ha happy right now. Uh, I really need them to be. And uh, our culture is really growing fast because of all these construction we're doing and stuff. It's really awesome what we're doing already. We're managing to do a lot of good stuff. Barbarian storms are they're attacking us. Another nation app appeared, boys. You have encountered a rival nation. Other nations are your primary. Yeah, I know. We're not at war with Persia, are we? No, we're not. Obviously, we're not. It's another nation, though. 
So Persia has encountered us. That's very interesting. Now I don't know. I don't know how I feel about them just yet. Are they? Where do they? What do they feel about us? I don't know. They haven't really talked to us yet. We haven't. We've made contact, but we haven't really interacted with each other uh, just yet. Six years, three years for stone boost. Oh, that would be great. Let's do stone boost. It's gonna give us uh, a lot of bonuses. Let me just go ahead and do that. There we go. Attack these uh, barbarians. And over here, I don't really have anything else going on. So I guess I can just continue on my way here, my searches. There we go. We got some barbarians. All right. We got some barbarians over here, boys. So uh, another unit would be great. Now we could start really building out an army. Uh, after we're done with the festival, I'm building a... A warrior unit at least we're definitely gonna need it I'm fine with two uh, two workers is fine for this city uh, but right now I really need another warrior I think I'm actually gonna move to a second citizen so we're gonna move up in terms of citizen uh, Babylon's gonna grow in the next year uh, what about her she's 25 she hasn't given me a child given me a child yet what are you doing man you need a child. I need a. I need an heir. Oh, there we go. Just as I was talking about it. She gave me a child. There we go, boys. So we got our first child. I'm actually gonna kill these guys. There we go. A lot more H. Uh, last HP. Lots uh, of XP for that. That's really good for us. There we go. Minus two hundred and twenty. Does that mean we can just promote our our warrior? I guess we can. Oh. If it says minus 220, does that mean that uh, he upgraded so you don't, y it doesn't take any of that? Maybe, maybe that's what it means. Culture, uh, developing, did my culture went up? Oh, it did. All right. Yeah, we're now citizen two. So we have two citizens. So we grew up, our city grew up and we also have developing culture, which means now we can actually... But we can't do it just yet. I guess we need patrons. Interesting. So we need some stuff. But uh, these, uh, we can uh, hurry up. We can actually use this because we are developing. We can use civics. But I'm not even gaining any civics, which I need to work on right now. I really need to work on the, those civics right now. I have enough stone right now to start working on the forum of the treasury. Treasury is going to give us more culture, which is the first thing I want to work on, I guess. Forum gives us civics, but culture is always the best uh, best thing. We did gain a new worker from that, though. Build a quarry would give us more stone. Uh, that's not too good. Build nest would give us growth, though. And uh, farms would give us a lot of growth. Yeah, farms do give us a lot of growth, so we're going to do that. We're going to build some farms, boys. There we go. Build a farm right here. What about you? Uh, you're going to just go ahead and go there, actually, because I want to take a look on the north. What's going on with this whole Persia situation? And over here, I can't do anything with you. I think we're good. Let's take a look at our child. Prince Lab Labishi Marduk. And that's a, it's a son, too. That's really good. Really good, boys. We got a son and everything. That's perfect. So this is the... Okay, so this is the family we have. This one, the logo, we can recognize the logo. So that's our, our thing, I guess. I can't uh, purchase, unfortunately, I would really like to purchase civics, but you can't do it. It's not a thing you can do in this, uh, in this game, purchase civics, but that's fine. One year, it's going to be done. Indian gardens are done. And this one is done as well. I think that was uh, the statue or whatever. Uh, so that's really good now. Definitely, that's going to help out tremendously our culture. It means it's at, up at 11 now. Our co and our growth is up at uh, 18. If we're going to grow in no time. And just because of that, I mean, we're doing so good right now. We're doing really fantastic. So the Indian Gardens, let's uh, see that pop up. It is done. The Indian Gardens will stand as a testament to our people for all time. A symbol of our accomplishment today and all of the glories yet to come. It is finished, boys. Plus two legitimacy as well to my throne. Uh, just because of that. Totally the ambition. Oh, yeah. All right. So there's this thing as well. 
You have unlocked the ability to choose amb ambitions. Ambitions are goals. So uh, we got to choose goals that we're going to... Uh, every time you complete one, you're going to get another one. Uh, so forth and so forth. And that gives you points like these. And uh, once you're at 32 points, the country that has 32 points is the country that wins the game, basically. That's how it works. Uh, control four cities or kill five enemy units. I'm going to do five enemy units. Because I'm already at one enemy unit, so I and uh, I'm gonna go for this barbarian right here. So that's gonna be two already. Your wife has given birth to another son, Amel Marduk. So we got another son. We're in the year eleven. We got two sons now. Uh, the Duke Amel Marduk. Interesting. Uh, so that's really good. We got uh, our son. We are forty years of age now. Uh, really good. Okay. So now that we got that. Plus 24 science. We actually have a lot of stone now. Which is really good. Our money, right? We have a lot of money right now. Uh, and once I'm done uh, with the festival, which is in one turn, people are going to be a lot more happier. And that's going to help me out. Uh, and every time you hurry up, though, that's why I need uh, people to be a, a little bit more happy right now. Because every time you hurry up with a, a thing, which is I'm going to try to do with money or something, it uh, ups the discontent, uh, up the uh, lowers the uh, uh, happiness, I guess. Uh, that's how I should say it. So that's why I'm trying my best right now to really make the people a little bit more happy right now because they are gonna, we're gonna need it right in the future, in the near future. So let's move our scout right here, and there we go. We don't have anything. I mean, this is all clear space, Persians on the north right here we are not really a, de a deep threat to us at all we've got a lot of stuff man a lot of uh, city points that we can take not sure where we're gonna go next we do have a research to do all five years for them uh amphitheaters husbandry so that would be pastures some polis so um, theaters and stuff like that or barracks. I don't really care about barracks that much, to be honest. Uh, growth. That would hurt our growth, though. Uh, drama. That would up our culture. Hurt this, though. It would hurt this. I need... Uh, yeah, I need culture. So drama. Just do drama, I guess. There you go. Do the drama right here. We are at two points just like that. Because we have the Ain Gardens, it's helping us out. So that's really good. We got a lot of good stuff going on, boys. So here we go. We got the logistic of it, boys. So far, we started off uh, good. There's the hanging gardens. They look beautiful. They really do. So our city is growing fast. It really is growing super fast. We've got a lot of things going on. We uh, killed a unit in this video. We're about to kill the uh, another barbarian in the next video, right? We've encountered a couple of stuff. We've got two sons and uh, obviously a wife. We've got our first uh, law that was imposed at the very first turn almost, which was Apex, which gives us more culture per unit skilled. And uh, this right here is probably going to be the next one we're going to choose, which is Constitution or Tyranny. I'm probably going to go for Constitution. We still can't... Obviously, all these things right that we got to do... Uh, religion and stuff it all costs 400 civics that takes a long time to get those civics up especially with babylon i feel like it's going to take a while so we'll just uh need to take our time with it and make our workers really work on stuff that gives us uh the civs and stuff we need to work on civics and stuff so remember to leave a like uh like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video boys i'll see you guys for the next one keep it easy